New tonight, a solution without a problem. That's what one mid-state pastor calls a bill lawmakers are considering that would give officiants in Tennessee the power to refuse to marry anyone whose habits or lifestyle they disagree with. It is a bill that is now on its way to the governor. Item number two, Senate Bill 596 by Senator Pody on third and final consideration. Mr. Speaker, the House bill's on the desk. It's a bill that would add 10 words to the existing law in the land of Tennessee. In short, it says a person can't be required to officiate a wedding. This has nothing to do with getting a license, um, has nothing to do with the clerks required to give a license. It just says uh, those words, and that's all there is to it. What isn't said is this bill makes it clear Tennessee pastors and others with the power to marry don't have to perform ceremonies for or involving LGBTQ people. It's unnecessary, and let's just try to not try to push legislation to single out groups. We're better than that as a legislature, and I just want to put that out there. Beyond that, the pastor at First Lutheran Church in Nashville testified last week the law already allows him to just say no. This bill is a law that is setting a trap for legal confrontations down the line, inviting unnecessary lawsuits that will only continue to frivolously spend tax dollars of the good people of Tennessee. The House bill passed 74 to 22 last March. The full Senate approved it Monday night. Uh, 27 days, five. This bill is now headed to Governor Lee's desk where he is expected to sign it into law. Now, that said, members of the Human Rights Campaign and Tennessee Equality Project will both be at our Capitol tomorrow talking about this and other bills they consider anti-equality legislation.